delicious and lose weight with Chef Pache. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing class. We're going to learn how to make pesto on the Thermomix, Chef Pachi style. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a lot of basil. Then we go into our Thermomix and we're going to write pesto as the recipe. And we're going to begin weighing all the ingredients. So we add each of the basil leaves to our container and then we set it aside. Because we're going to begin step by step so you learn how Pachi makes her amazing pesto as a staple ingredient. Not a complete pesto sauce, but a special pesto that you can always use as a sauce and as amazing ingredients for many other foods. So the first thing it says is to add 30 grams of pine nuts. But we don't add our pine nuts yet because the pine nuts I'm gonna leave for the end. And it says to add a garlic clove. And we're gonna add two tiny cubes of frozen garlic. Then we go to the next step on the Thermomix. And it says 80 grams of basil leaves. That's a lot of basil leaves. A bunch of US basil, which are pretty big, will do. I would do three times this recipe. Now we're gonna go to the next step. We are gonna add a little bit of olive oil. It says 150 grams, but we're only going to add 50. Because like I said before, we are going to use this as a master ingredient to make pesto eventually or to use it for many, many other recipes like I'm going to show you today with some salmon at the end of this video. So we add our oil and you see 50 grams of oil is a lot. And there it goes, 50 grams, half a teaspoon of salt, and we are ready to go. It only takes 20 seconds for the Thermomix to make your amazing, perfect pesto without oxidizing and that's why it comes out with an amazing flavor and aroma. You're gonna love it. It's out of this world, actually. It's fantastic. So, there we go. 20 seconds, we're gonna do at speed number seven. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do half, then we scrape down the sides of the bowl, and then we do the other half. Like I was saying before, I use this as a master or base ingredient because I can use it with coconut milk, with almond milk. I can use it to make a curry. I can use it like I'm going today, just a little bit of it with a little bit of Parmesan and pine nuts on the side, but I don't have to add more oil on a salmon or on any other seafood. You can also use it to season chicken or pork, adding a little bit of yogurt, and it'll be delicious, aromatic, and beautiful. This is why I would make three times as much, because you're gonna see that it doesn't create a lot of pesto because they all get ground together. But it's so good and it is so strong and delicious that you are gonna love it. I'm gonna use a little bit, about a fifth or an eighth of this recipe as a serving for my salmon that I had today at lunch. I had some delicious salmon and I just put a sprinkle of Parmesan, a couple of pine nuts on top, and voila! I have an amazing salmon with pesto. Beautiful and delicious, aromatic. You will love it. Remember, with Chef Pachi, 
Delicious diets are sustainable diets. Scroll down for the recipe. You can print it. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.